Erica back from the beach. <laughs> Not me. Bathing beauty on the beach. Bathing beauty, say hello. <laughs> what a cutie, what a peach. Bathing beauty, watch her go. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't burn, I don't tan. The sun doesn't touch me. No. The sun only embrace, well, the sun touches me. The sun, uh... How could I could how could I I feel like honestly I do look a little sun kissed. I'm just that pale. You're just very pale. You're very like you just don't burn, you don't tan. You're just like you have a protective layer whereas I like get tan from just, just sitting, sitting in here. front of my desk because there's like windows on this side. I was literally out in the sun like And the sun was like. Well Thank you for resubbing, Kaylin. Thank you, Kaylin. Also, hi, Nyalisa. Hi, Kaylin. Thank you both for being here. I'm sorry to hear about the summertime sadness. Talk that summertime, summertime sadness. If it's any consolation, I'm also having a bit of that. <laughs> Having a bit of rule. Oliver couldn't come to the beach. I couldn't go to the beach because I was working. Did, Oliver wasn't allowed to attend the beach episode. I didn't get to go to beach episode. But I'm glad to see you both here. And I'm glad that you'll be able to see, have, we're just going to chill out and have fun and play Klonoa. Klonoa is just a fun little adventure game with like cute character designs. I'm cute pumped to audio see more. stuff. Um, Klonoa 2 is one of my favorite, uh, games from when I was a kid, and I never beat it, so this is my redemption arc of beating the game. We're, like, almost to the point where I stopped playing, I think, and I don't know whatever stopped me, like, in the time. Probably that it was too hard, right? I don't know. I don't remember it being too hard. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the next stream is an IRL beach and episode. Like... <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be a bunch of still frames of us like <laughs> volleyball, splash I... effect. Yeah, and like sunbeams and rainbows. Uh, it's Klonoa be... in a nutshell is Klonoa's really cool and travels through dreams. So, All right, what... like. Yeah. So in the first game that we beat on stream, don't worry about it. Klonoa, we learned that Klonoa was basically summoned to this world, like, through a dream to help save it from being engulfed by endless nightmares. That's, like, the short synopsis of it, um, by a cute little, like, sidekick character named Hupo. Um, this game instead has Klonoa in a world called Lunatea, where he has to collect different elements that are kind of, like, uh, moods essentially. Their moods? Like, we got tranquility, the element of tranquility, the element of joy. Oh, okay. Like, those kinds of things. Like, different kinds of feelings. Um, and he's collecting those elements so that, um, and ringing bells with this priestess so that they can, like, form unity. I'm sorry, I didn't know that it would I didn't... The splash zone. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it would be like that. It really... <laughs> she drinking. She drinking. Okay, so let's Ooh. get into it. Cl one of the biggest things of about Klonoa is Truly. that he looks so fucking cool. Like, big... One of the biggest... Appeals. Truly. Truly. Okay, so here, here he is. We have a cute little hat. The character design... The environments in Klonoa 2 specifically. Oh, Klonoa 2 for environments is like S tier. Klonoa 1 was like, oh yeah. Klonoa I would was say, like, all right. I would say that the environment of the final area in Klonoa 1 was really cool. Why yes. is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? It's one so second. silent. I feel scared and yeah. alone. Yeah, wait, one second. I'm going to get my stickers because I want to put stickers on my new Hydro Flask. Okay, can you guys hear the game? Why can I not hear the game? 
Also, him ha Kenti. Oops. Um, I wanted to show you my. Um... It's quiet, but it's good. I want it to be not quiet. I want. I don't want it to be loud, but I do want it. I do want to hear it, and we just can't hear it. I could hear it before is the problem. Like I tested everything beforehand. Disconnect. Hmm. Which one? Excuse me, I just gotta do a little bit of troubleshooting. <laughs> Teams audio. Mom. Okay, I can hear it now. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that cute. One? You think that one? I love the blue on blue. Blue on blue. Okay, then I will. Okay, here is loud. Okay, so let's go back to where we were before because I don't want that to be too loud for you before. Let me know if it is too loud. I'll adjust it. Like, don't be shy about it. I'm going to show you my scrapbook because I spent a lot of time making sure that I could get unlock these cute images for you, and that should give you a little bit of sense of the vibe. Look how fucking cute Klonoa is. Like, yeah. I really went... I think... I, he is so your gender. He's my... Klonoa's my gender. This is Lolo and um, Popko. He's dripped out. He's dripped the fuck out. These are our two little companion characters that we're hanging out with. I love both, both of, of them. which are my gender. Those are... Those combined are Sammy's gender because... No, Lolo is the pink one. Popko is the um, creature. Can't you tell? And then here's where the cute little fair that we were just at that I love. I'm obsessed with it. Did I put it on decently? Yeah, I think so. Nice and nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Like me. <laughs> You're nice and straight. Okay, so those are the vibes. So now we're going to go to a place... That is um, constantly at war. To be blue. Blue, blue, blue. Sky isn't straight. Uh, no. Oh, it's, Sorry. It's <laughs> not true. I was making a lie. But should I be on the other side? It can be. Do you want to do this plot real quick? Yeah. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Let's just get the bell of discord. Yes? Whoa, wait a sec! Popka, not Pop, though. Huh. The app, Discord? Mm. Leo, this is Leorina. She's the baddie. Oh, yeah. She's a Leorina. She is a baddie. We need more power. <laughs> but there's no way to tell when it will explode. Tat, go and check out the reactor. Tat, I'm in love with. I I. This cat, best character design ever. Um, which one do you mean? Uh, that one, that, the one that's above or underground? Both. We need all the power. A Vulcan city or two is a small price to pay for a copy of the ring. The, um, ooh, Klonoa's ring? So Klonoa has a, his weapon is called a wind ring. And they basically like stole the data of it and are trying to make a copy of it now. Also, Kaylin, really don't worry too much about it. It's hard to like tune into every stream for like any creator. Oh yeah, don't you worry enjoy. about it. Even if you like them and enjoy them, they like give you and, a positive feeling. And the past streams are available in, um, what is it? There are vods on, on There's Twitter, vods. on Twitch, Twitch. And you're not gonna like, I you'll you'll miss out on the conversation, but you're not gonna miss out on the plot. Yeah, check the vods out. and like don't worry about it if you can't. But just like if you're cleaning or you need background noise, I do that with like friends vods all the time. Like just like turn Hell them yeah. on and like do other stuff, and then I don't have to participate in conversation. And that takes like a load off for me. Personally. I sometimes like I, the way that I take in streams is not by conversating. I'm not a very conversational viewer. It's just not the way I in, it take in streams. If we're ever in streams, I'm probably the one talking and chatting. I I enjoy them, and I I yeah. definitely am like oh 
oh, I love that, or I love this, but it's like, I, I get like, I don't know, I get like a, well, I don't want to call attention to myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I mean, while like, hey, let's talk. What's up? What's up, guys? I want to tell you how I feel. Hey, it takes all kinds. It takes all kinds. Shh. Okay, off I go. I just always feel like Tat is like. She is. Tat's like an influencer. She is. And I stan her. Oh, I stan. What do you want to do? Show him what for? Wait, she said those reactors might explode. Fighting I love his hat right time. now. We have to go to the source of the problem. Well, she did mention that neither reactor was running at full capacity yet. Alright, let's start with that then. I love that he has a little gang with him. In the last game, he He's was just, just kind of him. Some, yeah. Like, his little, like, pal was there, but he was mostly, like, inside of the ring. Yeah. Did he talk much? I don't remember him talking a lot. Hupo talked, like, a little bit, but, like, not as much. Oh, I got a life just from doing that. Hell cutscene. yeah. That's cool. That's epic. That's pretty epic. And it. <laughs> this is a hat of, like, the enemies in the game. You'll see them in a second. Yeah, it's a, not a hat he normally would be wearing. Yeah, we just did, we're like, oh, would we have costumes? And then we're like, oh, hell yeah, we're gonna give him a costume. <gasps> I got two lives just from oh, starting yeah. this level. Why is it tri Wait, why is it giving me a FAQ, th like a little, like, tip thing? It wasn't doing that at all before. <laughs> I think. I might be misremembering, though. I love these guys. I love this <laughs> fucking game! It's it's so cute and everything about it is so satisfying. I like that um, now we can actually hear it in our headphones. Yeah, it's cute. Because uh, I really enjoy the noises that Klonoa makes. And <laughs> I was sad that we were kind of like, it was kind of quiet for us. Oh, cute! The fairy boy! He looks really good there. Whoa. God damn. I think I messed that up a little bit. Oh my god, I've gotten so many lives from this. Ah! The fuck? There we go. Well, we're... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the new Pokemon game. We really want to, like, see how much of a co-op experience it is. Because I'd love yeah, to try I'd to... Yeah, I'd love to co-op it for stream. That yeah. would be so fun. That's, like, my dream. We love co-oping games. Yeah, we really... Speaking of, if you, um... If you get into a, a situation, you let me know. I'll let you know. This has, like, a co-op feature, but it's really make jump high. Yeah. It's not really, like, amazing or anything. No, it's very, like, little sibling mode. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've been paying so much attention to the, um, <laughs> multiplayer functionality of... that is being promised for Scarlet and Violet. They, I feel like so many games promise like a cool co-op mode these days though, and then when you get to it, it's like, you can be there. You can see the other person bicycling around you kind of glitchy. Yeah. Me just specifically calling out Sword and Shield for like, look, you can play with other people. And it was like, okay. So. It was very Underwhelming. Basic. So underwhelming. 
Look at this, like, city we're in. <laughs> it's cute. It's on fire. It's cute. It's, little... it's like a little western. Yeah, it reminds me of that episode of Pokemon where, like, there's two gyms at war. Oh, no. Man, this place is at war. It's really sad, actually. Actually? Actually, this is so tragic. Actually, I'm crying. I hope I'm put. Do you ever put stickers on things and you're like, gosh, I hope I'm putting them in the right place? Yeah, but I think you are. You're not even looking. You just know. Yeah, I could tell from this one, these guys, they look nice. Yeah, you think that the fairies are in a good placement? I do. Okay. I trust you. I trust your judgment. <laughs> this is my game. <laughs> this is my Klonoa. Oh my god. The, okay, these ones are... I... This is... This is ass. Look. Like, I'm trying to... Do you see? Yeah. It's like, I can't... I'm ruining it. And this has happened with all of them. There we go. That sucks. <sighs> so annoying. This is like dystopian Twilight Town vibes. I get that from this. Ooh, dystopian Twilight. It's giving me Western. Huh. Am Maybe I wrong? Maybe it's just the colors. I don't know. Um, the episode of Pokemon that I'm referring to kind of had Western vibes. What the fuck? Every noise Klonoa makes brings me joy. It's the it's the same kind of effect that like Mario Party sounds make, where you just like you want to repeat it so badly. You yeah. know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Yeah, Sky just got this Hydra Flask. So they're very, uh... I'm excited. Oh, Klonoa's secret weapon double jump. Really? I can't leave them blank. It's too weird for me. Wahoo! <laughs> Also, Kaylee, and despite your mood, you've been producing very lovely art, and your pixel art is, like, improving all the time. And Truly. I want to tell you that, because I always enjoy seeing you, it whenever you post it. Like, every time you post, you improve. And it's like, I've been enjoying your work for a bit now, but, like, every time, it's like, that's so good! It's mm -hmm. really excellent. Top tier. I, and I just wanted to make sure that I said that, since I... I have the opportunity and you're here. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, one second. I'm gonna just, <laughs> just jump into this fire real quick. Y'all mind if I jump into a fire real quick? You mind if I fuck around and, uh... When I play it's this game, it's me when I sneeze. That's me when I sneeze. No, you sneeze cute. You sneeze like a cute. No, I sneeze like a big, strong, tough guy. Oh, with big I'm muscles. sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. With big muscles and um, biceps. Oh. Did I get that? I don't know if I got that, but I guess we'll just like, I'll do it later. I need to not get too caught up on like the completionist part of things right now. Cause I'm doing that off stream. Yeah. And I just like, was like, wait a second though. Wait.
trust the process. The new voice acting direction? What are you referring to, Kalian? Are you referring to the channel point command? Or am I just not remembering something I said like two seconds ago? Oh yeah, you are looking at the channel point thing. Yes, yes, yes. How about boo? It's fun. I like it when people are like, <laughs> yeah, but make this character sound like this. It's fun. It's fun. It's a fun little, like, challenge. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I missed that other one. That's sad. ha ba uh oh. When a sticker is like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. When it's like, hapu! Hapu ba! Hapu ba! Oh my gosh, Killian, you're excited for us to do Night in the Woods again? <gasps> oh my god, I was thinking about that recently because it is closing in on time for our second annual playthrough of Night in the Woods. Oh my gosh. I'm Which glad that like, you're excited about it, because I was, like, worried. Yeah, I was like, uh, should we do Night in the Woods? You know, like, is is everyone gonna be like, whatever, you know? Is everyone gonna be like, why are, why you, are you playing, playing Night in the Woods again? Yeah, exactly. It's just our, like, fall thing. Like, you know how it's you- It's fall y'all thing. Like, you watch over the garden wall, and you play Night in the Woods. That's our seasonal thing that we do. I'm very excited for it. I don't know, like, what, like, direction we should go with it for our second playthrough. Like, if we should focus on one character. Well, hopefully we'll, like, figure out the ending a little bit better. This time around. It is a confusing ending, and I feel like I learn a little bit more about it every time I play it. Which is why I love playing it so much. You know, I love learning more about it every time. Oh, Kaylee, I'm so glad. I love playing it. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. I'm glad that someone said that they want to watch us play it again because I was like, um, will anyone want that? Yeah, for sure. It was definitely a concern. Because, like, we do try to do, like, whatever we want to do, but, like... <laughs> but we also try to do, you know, what the people who like watching us want us want to see us do. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a balance. Like, for now, I'm telling you all... <laughs> ...that we have to watch me play Klonoa 2, because I love it, and it's one of my childhood favorite games. And I want to watch. And it, it doesn't get a lot of attention and hardly anyone knows what this game is. And it should have more attention, for sure. The music is fun. I'm having fun with the vibes. Oh no, train on fire! <laughs> Kenty <laughs> thought... <laughs> heard, um, Into the Woods instead of Night in the Woods. <laughs> Into the woods, night in the woods, it's time to go. We hate to leave, we have to though. Night in the woods, it's time, and so we hang with B or Greg. Is this it? I'd say we're at the right place. Well, let's shut it up, shut it down then. <laughs> I want Klonoa's outfit more than anything. More than anything. <laughs> more than life. More than the moon. I wish. <coughs> Great, let's go back to that bell of anger. The underground one's next. Vision clear. 
Halloween Vision time. clear! You mean is Halloween time when we're gonna do Night in the Woods? Cause yes. Yeah, it'll be fall, y'all. Like, beginning of October-ish. It like a little bit depends on, um... Games we're finishing, but like... I mean, we'll finish Klonoa and then it'll probably be time for Night in the Woods, right? I mean, we're probably going to finish it next week. Well, there you go. Is that time, then? Oh. Sky should be Klonoa for Halloween. I want to be Klonoa for Halloween. We should both be Klonoa for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Klonoa 1 and Klonoa 2. Could you imagine? That'd be so cute. Would you... One of us just wears, like, a little red choker and, like, a black shirt. No, it can't be a little red choker. It has to be, like, too big. Ooh. Because his is, like... Like, practically a halter. Yeah. His, like, little baby kid look is so He's funny. so cute. <laughs> I love him. I love him! Daddy, I love him! Are those? those aren't anything. I learned that those aren't anything. So I What's not anything? There's, like, these little flying things. Mm-hmm. That kind of look like gems. Like a gem? Like a gem? Do you look like gem? No. Oh. Like dream gems. Dream gems. Gem from gem, a dream? Gem in my dreams. Where he's nice to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly that. the woods it's time, time to, to go, go. I can't to leave. leave I have to go into the woods it's time and so I must begin my journey straight through the woods and through the trees to where I am expected ma'am into the woods to grandmother's house no 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 my gem my gem into the woods to no house. I, I messed it that's okay the way is dark gem is good Jenny Jimmy, come sa say hi to Kaylian. Oh, you're right here. That's his new favorite place to be. Jimmy, the So sweet and cute. Look at this oh, tall guy. No. Ham Hodger, but you're here in time to say hi to Jenny. He's so big. Why is he half your height? Grab a boomy. <laughs> Bust them. He's trying to tell me things that I already know. Oh, oh, ouch. Sorry. Put him down. Killian missed you, Jemmy. He said, I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. <laughs> Where you been? You're so valid, though. Depression. <laughs> you know that song? Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Boomy, can you, um, blow up, though? No, you're valid though, Kaylian. Super valid. Like, literally, never, ever, ever should you expect any judgment. No. I. I. There are so many things that I miss out on. It's just life. It's just that neurodivergent depression life. Oh my god, is that what's going on? Okay. Me and my depression. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I was also gonna say. What's going on up there? Wait, there's a guy there. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go over here. Are you gonna blow up? No. Good. Ah! How am I wearing a jacket on this summer day? Fashion. 
is literally my answer. Because I wanted to wear a jean jacket. Um, and then it was like, is it too hot? And then I said, I don't care. I just want to wear a jean jacket. Sometimes I know that's not a good answer. Fashion takes the wheel. I'm wearing shorts. I'm also wearing a long sleeve shirt under my jacket because Fashion it's the only uh, clean shirt I had. So that's where I am right now. Take it from my hands. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why I got AC so I could wear a jacket indoors. Literally though I today I've said literally so many times wow but I've been correct every time I've said you've it. literally been <laughs> I've talking not about what you've been talking about I I've been truthful yeah Kaylee and I'm I'm in the same boat as your golf cousin except I will not wear my black hoodie in this weather. If I can help it. The light is good. The light is good. I have no fear, nor no one should. Uh, but, okay, so, like, it's been really hot, right? Yeah. But I... Love it. I, I love, love the, the heat. heat dude. I'm, I'm so I'm living. It gives me serotonin. I don't Jerba, we were just talking about how um we're excited about playing uh, Night in the Woods for Fall. Yeah. Talking about that passage of time. Oh my god, this thing is just Almost fall, y'all. We're seeing all those Halloween decorations. The leaves on our tree They're um, turning orange. Our tree right outside our window. Dying. But, hey, when they die, that's one step closer to when we get, uh, get the blossoms again. <gasps> yeah, you're right. So, death brings new life. You're right. I love the passing of time. Tell the pleasure for long. Cover up the blank spots, hit me on the head, I will <laughs> this must be the place, but it's just Klonoa noises. <laughs> I can't even, like, I can't even do a mock-up or an example of what I mean. So you're just gonna have to trust me. You're just gonna have to trust me. Oh, but Kaylian, since you're excited for Night in the Woods, is there a certain, like, character story that you're excited to see fault load through? Yeah, literally. That, like, we literally. have... Literally! That we haven't explored, because... Truly. We don't know, um... We're not sure what we want to We've do. definitely played through B. We've played through Greg before on our own time. Yeah, and we did, like, a mix last year. But I think it'd be cool to, uh... To focus... To f try to focus on one so that we get one of those full stories. Yeah. And we might do a poll, like, later on. But you want to see more B? I think that's a good idea. I think we were, like, really focused on Greg last year. Yeah. And, like, I love Greg. I love, um... That's my boy. I love Honestly, him and Angus so for much. Me, for me, personally, on a, on a totally, like, individual level, if it... If it was between B or Greg, I would choose Greg. But I want to do all of them. Yeah. That one's too sheer. It looks blue when you put it on here. Yeah. Look at my hydro flask, all decked out. Hey. You don't remember the stair scene? Oh my god. I feel it. I remember that so viscerally with Kalian. That was that was such a big 
just like Greg breaking his entire body and falling down. It was really bad. We were really fucking over Greg in a major way. Yeah, I had never done that mini game before. <laughs> There's definitely little empty spots, but it'll fill up. I want to fill them with the right stickers. Yeah. <gasps> I could have put my Persona stickers on them! There's no room now. Damn it. Um, it looked cute, too. I don't think B and May will kiss. I don't. I, don't, I actually, like, on, I used to ship them, but I don't think they're the ship. They're not my favorite ship. I can see appeal in them. I don't want May to end up with anyone. No. I no, want, no, I, no. I think May's not ready. No. No, no, no. No, we don't... Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want her to, like... I think that her partner is yet to be found. You know who I do ship her with, but there's not really any, like... There's not much to say about it. The girl that she meets at the party in the B route... Did we see that? We, uh, that we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. Okay, okay, wait, later, 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 later. We'll get into it, we'll get into it. All right, but her. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Stop! Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't know anything. What are you doing here? Uh, who? Me? Uh, what's it to you? <laughs> sorry, Kaylian. Sorry. It's, it's like... For, like, out of context, just forget that. Like... Ah, oh, you're up to no good again, aren't ya? Well, you see... Anywho, come and get me! I love her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She made robots of herself. Oh my god, these are the cutest. She kind of does have, like, Monokuma vibes, but, like, mixed with Usagi. Usami? Yeah, Usagi. if Usami and Monokuma did a fusion. Yeah. Did a... Like, has a, a lot of Usami energy. If they did a fusion with, like, Luna and Artemis. Aw, cute. Oh, I can do it, like, that one. Super Tat Bot! I love Tat so much. Tat's great. This is so playful. Oh my god. My new glasses cannot get here soon enough. I mean, this is... It's bad. Hey, you don't play nice. What do you make of that? Kaylee, do you have broken glasses too right now? Oh, my dude. Not fun. It's not fun because it's like I need these, actually. You it need just them to see. It, it kind of, I don't know, it puts into... Per you wear contacts. Oh, I don't have any contacts. I really need to get them. But I have to go get my eye exam. Oh, I have to cancel that eye exam. Oh. Or pay it. But I can't pay it. So, gotta cancel it. I'll do that tomorrow. Alright. Uh, adulting! Uh, I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not. It's not! It's because I haven't ordered or tried to get contacts in years. I want them though. I wanna be able to have my, let the eyes breathe. Yeah. Let the eyes have the periph, you know? Get some peripheral. I don't have peripheral. People could be saying anything to you at any time. And I wouldn't hear them because I don't have my glasses on. Why is that what I 
upset about that. I don't know, but that's kind of I, I yes and did. I Thank yes and did with you. <laughs> yeah, that's you know the basic rules of comedy. I was like, all right, you know, we can say that I can't hear. I do have ADHD. Seeing is part of my hearing. It's a large Fair. part. It is a large part of my hearing, actually. That's why we use subtitles. If I can't see what someone, if like, if I can't see their mouth, I'm like, I can't fucking hear you. I don't know. I realize now that I actually, when we started, when we, when we were all wearing masks, you know, like I was like, fuck, I can't hear anyone. It really freaked me out. Like I was like, oh shit, I actually really rely on like reading lips. Sucks. That does. I don't think it's because I have bad hearing though. I think it's literally because I have ADHD and I just like, I I think it's worse than I even think it is. But, I mean, probably. Cause I feel like there's been a lot of, I mean like only from like a stance of, it's not really a, Part of yourself that I see you acknowledge or have until I acknowledge recently. It. Until recently, yeah. It's like something you're acquainting yourself with. Well, more. I think for a while I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't acknowledge it hmm. because I feel like when I did acknowledge it, people would be like, "But that's not an excuse." You know what I mean? Yeah. And I would be like, "Well, okay, fair." So I would try just to not talk about it ever. Hmm. But now it's now we're in a mental health world where I can be like, I'm sorry, I have ADHD and sometimes it's hard for me to understand things or process them properly. And people will be like, oh, well, let me repeat it. And I'll be like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Instead of people being like, well, why didn't you try to listen harder? Which yeah. is scary to hear. <laughs> people are a lot more aware of their own, like, neurodivergencies now and the things that, like, they need accommodation for. And I think it's, like... And it's not so much a point of pride anymore. Like, people aren't actively trying to be neurotypical, you know? Like, yeah. I feel like it used to be you would be like, I have a mental illness, and people would be like, no, you don't. Don't say that, you mm -hmm. know? And it would be like, but it's true. Or like... <laughs> like... Like, I... <laughs> Like, I'm I, good at managing my mental illness. I have a mental illness, but I just deal with it. Yeah. Anyway. This is it. Those bunches of tampons in there? Yeah. Well, let's shut it down then. She's so cute. Is she like a monkey? I think I asked this. I think she's just what she is. Her. Like Klonoa is what he is. Yeah. Great. Let's go back to the Bell of Anger. We're in luck. Lena, Lena Rina ain't here. Yeah, it's suck like when family members invalidate or, like, don't allow you to get the medical stuff you need. Like, Because they, I think it's because family members see it as a personal failing if their kid has a mental illness you know what i mean yeah like they're like oh well but i gave birth to you so i i want you to be like perfect you know yeah oh my god i got all of the gems up for this one first try but i didn't get the little doll mm, 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 hell yeah mm, it is partially generational too and like i know like my parents personally had like a weird time about therapists mm -hmm. and like my dad didn't really like think that anyone needed therapy for a bit and then i came out as trans and he was like well you need therapy definitely oh! <laughs> which is funny in like a not funny way anyway kaylee and i want to show you these little dolls real quick because i think that they're so cute and i got most of them now and i love them so much Okay, They're so them. cute. I want them. I want to make them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... What a break. Leorina is nowhere to be seen. Okay, now for the fake ring and the element. An enemy? Well, it's a Vulcan guard bot. Mm. 
mobile tank Bishkar. Bishkarsh. Bish bi bi oh, oh, Bishkarsh. Bishkarsh. No, 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 no. Please don't jump on me. Oh. Ba -ba -ba! oh shit. No, Klonoa is not related to Sonic, though you would think. So, uh, Klonoa is a Namco property, which is why he has a little pac mirror on his head that you can't see because we put a Moo hat on him. We Moo's should maybe we, maybe we should take off his costume so that uh, everyone can see what his actual design is. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh shit. You got more health? Bruh. Bruh. No, 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 Oh, my baby. Ah, fuck, shit, okay. <laughs> oh no, Kanoa. Um, I have a deeper relationship. Oh, wait, it starts here though, that's cool with Klonoa than I do Sonic, though. Um. I mean, I guess it's probably about I it. think I have a deeper relationship with Sonic just through my childhood. Mm -hmm. However, when I look at Klonoa, happier. I feel like Better design. Klonoa won't flip me off, and I feel like Sonic will, and that's my um, gauge for this. Um, I don't, I think Klonoa won't flip you off. He won't flip me off because he's He'll not flip transphobic. He'll flip someone off. Yes. Do you think Sonic is transphobic? <laughs> is that what you're saying right now? That is a big, big hot take. <laughs> Sonic transphobic? Yeah. And you heard it here first. And that's why he hates Shadow the Hedgehog who is Sonic, trans. Sonic the Hedgehog transphobic hit my husband <gasps> and flipped them off. Yeah. Nihilisa News! And he stole my weed. He stole your weed? That little weed stealer. He would. I just feel like he'd be like, hey, can I have a hit? When you're takes like, um, it. yeah, then he takes it. He smokes all of it. And he smokes your entire plant. He's blind. gotta smoke fast. Yeah, he smokes it really fast. And then he's got those red bloodshot eyes. Yeah. I'm sorry to talk about weed on stream. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, no, not that legal sub substance. <gasps> epic. That was really epic, Oliver. That was good. Thank you. I felt really epic about it. Is he... He's on clear. <gasps> and then you landed right on the heart. You're epic. I'm pretty epic at Klonoa, too. Not Klonoa 1, to be honest. Uh, well done. Huh? This fight was all I needed from you, really. Thanks to you, I have everything that I need. Oh my god, we've just been falling for her what? trap. A ring? A fake ring? What are you up to, Learina? What am I up to? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? <gasps> she rang the bell of anger. Weren't you gonna do that? No, she has the element of anger. No. No! The element. But, but why? <sighs> what the... Ah, uh, there go the reactors. An inevitable outcome given our haste. Who cares? Volk was destroying itself anyway. 
Nebel Yutana. Yeah, she's the bad guy. Her and Tat are the bad she's guys. She's the bad guy. Duh. Learina, give the element back! No. Go home and rest assured, little Please one. I will him. save your precious world. Oh, she wants the accolades. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I mean, she She's already doing laughing. It. I didn't really need to do that. She did it really well, too. Lola, no. Lola, Lola, Klonoa, we gotta go after Lyria! 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 Popka silly voice. I love all of their silly boys. Lolo, what's wrong, baby girl? She has a crush on Lee Arena. No. No, this isn't right. We have to shut down the reactors. Great time to grow a conscience. What the fuck? Klonoa. Let's do it. I wish that there had been, like, a four kids show of this. You know what I mean? Klonoa would have benefited from having a cartoon on, on, like, the one Saturday morning or whatever. God, I wish he got a fucking cartoon instead of Pac-Man. Pac-Man got a cartoon? Pac-Man got, car got a cartoon. That's fucked up. Pac-Man's right? not fun. Here. There we go. There's that hat. Vulcan or Would you be excited if I got you a Klonoa hat for your birthday next year? Yeah. Like a little hat with a, a little Pac-Man on it? Yeah, I think I'd like that. Do you want it to be Pac-Man sewed onto the hat or like a, a, like a pin? I think a patch would be cute. A patch? I think I'm supposed to be here. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be here. Pretty sure. All right. Well, I don't have an argument. Because I think this is how I shut down the reactors. What? <laughs> oh, no. I've been having to reread your comment, like, several times, because I keep reading it as that walk of a lol. Lols. Lols. It's Lolo's little walk where she's like... I just love her so much. She's like, a, she's a girl. She's a girl. I want her little brooch, you know? Yeah. I think I want to make it. We need to, I, I need to play with that air clay that we have before air gets into it. <laughs> before it dries? Yeah. I'm glad that you do. I love them so much. It's so cute. And I love to hear that other people love them too. <sighs> it makes me so happy. Oh, fuck. No. 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 I need a snack. Get a snack. I can't believe Popka would say, now you grow a conscious to Lola, Lolo. As if she wasn't the sweetest and most lovely little angel already. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Still alive? Uh, I got a really bad feeling about this. Run!
Oh my gosh, you link you linked a clip. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh no, you clipped me saying Slavic transphobic. Oh no. I'm glad though. <laughs> it's so funny. Baba boo Let's keep going. We just gotta go. We just gotta We just gotta keep going, you know? I love the sounds. They bring me so much joy, to be honest. music for Klonoa because I've been listening and you know what it's reminding me of? Hmm. Some of the music is kind of reminding me of Chrono Trigger. And that might just be inspiration because it's not as catchy as a lot of Chrono Trigger music but like the battle music in particular is what it makes me think of. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They put a Pac-Man on- I think that they more, like, put Pac-Man on him to kind of be like, Oh yeah, same company. Little homage. But like... Oh, it's done by... A bunch of different people, it looks like. Yeah, it's not consistent. Which honestly is to, to its detriment. Mm -hmm. I think Klonoa would benefit a lot from having a consistent um, o o like original soundtrack. Like not necessarily that every song should sound exactly the same, but that it should have a, a consistent theme that a composer is working on. For sure. They're like, guys, please remember us, Namco made Pac-Man 2! I think, like, Klonoa, from what I've, like, researched lightly, mm -hmm. I have not done a lot of research on Klonoa. But maybe I should. I'd love um, to know more. I think that it was kind of, like, their bid for a mascot character making him. Hey, I would have accepted that but over like, Pac-Man. Could you imagine the alternate universe where uh, Klonoa is in Smash rather than Pac-Man? You mean my dream? That would have been so cool. Klonoa for Smash! Yeah. <laughs> um. God, I just, I adore him. 
And like, I'm, I'm glad that they released it. It didn't, it just didn't work out because he didn't gain a lot of popularity when he, his games were released, which is like, you can see that from the fact that like, things are the way they are now. Like, look at how epic he is. <laughs> oh no, a train! No, Klonoa! Watch out! He died! Oh my god, this is just like 101 Dalmatians. Um, the Fantasy Reverie series that we're playing, this is for Switch. It's also for PC and, um, like, what am I thinking? Xbox and PlayStation. So I'd keep an eye on seeing if it, like, goes on sale or something. It's definitely a fun play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right okay, I'll pause it for a second. You missed Klonoa getting run over by a train! Are you making shrimp? This guy's making shrimp. Looks like we barely made it in time. That was too close for comfort. Did you notice no one bothered to come and shut it down? These idiots only think about fighting and nothing else. Take a down bow! All they do is play in Jolien. All they do is fight in Volk. Well, you think about it, they're all kind of strange. But a priestess's power is necessary for the ring to function. So, how did Liarina? Dijon Clear! How did Liarina? She's a priestess! Huh, how did Liarina? Um, I finished Ramori so fast because I literally would spend like an hour before work playing it every morning and then I would play it after work. <laughs> um, and then I played it all weekend. <laughs> because I'm obsessed with it and I can't stop thinking about it even now. So that's your answer, Kaylian. I loved it so much. Um, Sky did not play it. <laughs> um, and it's all I can think about. Oh my God, you should finish it. It's so good. Like. I know you're feeling kind of depressy, and it's gonna kind of make you a little depressy. To be honest, it triggered a depressive episode for me. But like, if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. You can DM me and we can talk about Omori. And about how fucking sad that game is. Okay, I've got food. My favorite's Hero and Basil. I love them so much. I love all of them, to be honest. I need to play it a ASAP. ASAP! Hmm. Lirina. Kel is actually you. Oh, I'm so affectionate, but... Like, we look the same, we both funny. I thought only a priestess could reel the ring. We may have underestimated her. Well then we better hurry to the next element! Hold your horses. The bell of indecision lies in Mira Mira, where strangers are not welcome. Even the arena will be hard pressed to get near. Then, how do you suppose we get there? Huh? Mm. Mira Mira. Mira Mira borders the lake of seclusion, where an ancient ark rests. 
It is said that this Ark once traveled not only to Mira Mira, but all around the world. Perhaps you can use the Ark to get across the lake of seclusion. That is, if the Ark still works. His hat? It reminds me... Yes! Yes! absolutely. fucking lutely The Cornettos? Yes, the, the snack. The snack, not Cornettos. No, Cornettos is like a croissant. Um, that you put them on your finger and you, and you have a... <laughs> what are they called? One second. Snack that you put on your finger. Um, corn chip cone snack. Bugles! bugles! That's exactly what his fucking hat looks like. It looks like a bugle. Kenty said it as soon as I, like, googled it. An arc that traveled around the world. Corn thimbles. <laughs> Corn thimbles. Once, when the world was in harmony, people moved freely between the kingdoms. You kidding me? I don't believe it. That seems impossible. <laughs> Bugles! <laughs> uh, corn thimbles, unlike leading brands. You can actually yes. sew. Yes, well, the kingdoms are so isolated now. Bird! <laughs> wow. Why don't we just go? No use just standing here talking about it. You're right. After all, we can't let Leorina save the world because it's a matter of pride for us, really. Huh? What do you mean? We are gonna <laughs> save the world! Oh, well, that don't seem quite right. Blah, whatever. She wants the she wants the accolades. Let's get going! Lo yeah. Lolo's about it's about pride for her. Yeah, she's in it for the fame. Oh, we should be Lolo and Klonoa and Gem should be Waka. Dream traveler. Dream traveler. I believe you can get me through the night. Your future remains failed to me. Where's it going? I yo he dick! <laughs> Bagooty is kind of. Bagooty got that babooty. <laughs> Bagooty is a little. Ishra's arc. Let's go. Let's. The B room. Go. I love these little tutorials that they give me. Wow. Mm. Vibes. Put that lo-fi mix over this. So, so that's the arc, huh? It's got three engines and all. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. How could you tell it has three engines? There's three. Oh, oh the three propellers. On to Mira Mira. Mira Mira. So I think, okay, when I was... When I was a kid, I think that I played up to Mira Mira. Really? Yeah. So we're almost past. We're almost to that point. Like past I past the point of no return. I was a um, when I was younger, the way that I played video games was very much like I would start games over all the time. Like all the time I would start. Oh, I I mean, I did that all the time too. Which is why I never finished it. It wasn't that it was too hard. It would it's be just like I just started well, it over. It, I would I would like get through a, a significant portion of it and then leave it alone for so long that I forgot what the fuck was going on. Yeah, I think or how so. to play it. So I'd be like, I'd have to, I have to start over it again. Um, for example, I what, what's another game I started over a lot. I never be um, the first wizard game. I started over Harvest Moon a ton of times. Yes, Harvest Moon. 
I did not. Which is why I have trouble beating it now, because I still have to start it over every time. Yeah. But I have, I, it's a bucket list item for me to beat Harvest Moon Another Wonderful Life. Yeah. Oh my god. The SpongeBob game? Yes. Absolutely. For real. What's it? I feel like, um. <sighs> oh, okay. I did not read the tutorial on this, and it was the only thing that I didn't know how to do. <laughs> In this entire game. I've known how to do everything else except this one thing. Oh god. No, I never played A Tale of Two Towns. Yeah, I, I never played that. Um, I only really played uh, Save the Homeland, which no one else played that I know of. Um, and it's not even like the best Harvest Moon game. It was like for PlayStation 2 and like you couldn't romance anyone in it, which makes it like a mid Harvest Moon game. First of all. Another Wonderful Life is also mid. Yeah. Like But it's the one I really want to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you age in it. Yeah. And you have a baby that ages. I really like that I like you that concept. and your baby age and you like raise your baby. Like that's really cool to me. I think that that's like very I wish that a, a Harvest Moon would approach that concept again. Yeah. But I think that the the fact that you only have three romances kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, the gameplay's not great. The cows are broken. The cows are a nightmare. For real. For, like, for real, they're a nightmare. Any harvest or farmer game with no romance, SMH! For real, though? Yeah. Do Harvest Moon Tale of Two Towns. All right. I'll look into it. 14 potential romances is like the correct number for me. Oh my me. god. Yeah, I um I want as many as possible. I want it to be like my friends and I were not usually like it's it's not common for us to pick the same people. Yeah. Yeah. But when you only have 3, it's like Okay, you barely scratch the surface of personality. For real? Oh, it turned to red. Okay. Honestly, even if they did a thing where it was like bisect, I'm gonna make a mod. I'm not, but a mod for Harvest Moon where you can play as the boy or the girl, and you can also marry the boys or the girls. Uh, Bisexual Harvest Moon, a bi wonderful life. A wonderful. <laughs> Another. Yet another wonderful Yet life. another wonderful life. Yeah. A wonderful No, no, no. In, in a wonderful life specifically. Is in a wonderful life. Um, we do want to, like, do a playthrough of a wonderful life, but it's probably not going to be a stream thing. No, that would be, um, that's like a, a, a YouTube thing that we've talked about. Yeah. Because also, I don't love the idea of playing Harvest Moon on stream. I It's too long. I feel like I would get bored. It's too long. We need to be able to do all of the grinding, like, quietly. Like, it could be a fun thing to, like, chat through and then play a little bit, like, off stream and be like, here's what we did. Yeah. Off stream, by the way. But, like, I don't know. With the chili style. Oh, um. Yes, but that's not another wonderful life. That's not an, a wonderful life. Hello, excuse me? <laughs> With the chibi style. Yeah. That's, um, um. That's. Friends of. Mineral Town. Yeah, Mineral Town. Which is connected to another wonderful life. I've heard but it Mineral isn't. Town is good. I yeah, I watched um I watched Emmy play Mineral Town. Yeah. And we, I loved that playthrough. We loved watching Emmy play uh um uh, Mineral Town. Yeah, Friends of Mineral Town. I And it looks really cute. I would play it. Okay, nothing is happening, so I'm not doing something. It right. looks like a really successful farming simulator. Um, I was super, we did, we played, heart, what was Pioneers it? Pioneers of Olive Town. Pioneers of Olive Town. Poot. We played that on stream. 
I still have it. I actually have occasionally thought about getting back onto it because I've heard it's been like fixed, fixed. a little bit. Oh. But the thing, I was disappointed. It really, I, I was sad. It saddened me. I was like, I, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Yeah. How dare you? It's really disappointing when you wait for a game for a really long time and you really like are excited it, for the game and it, then it ends up like having n not great it, gameplay. It wounded me so bad that I'm like scared to touch the new Rune Factory. Yeah. And those are uh, like totally not connected. But it was like I I desperately want an attractive farming simulator that runs really well. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't feel like it exists yet. Um I am I have high hopes for a lot of like indie ones that are being developed yeah, right now. Yeah. The one I, I know the one you're thinking about. There's like two of them that I'm kind of, okay. like, looking at. Well, I know one of the ones you're thinking about. One is, um, Coral Island. <gasps> Coral? One okay, well, then I know both of the ones history. you're thinking yeah, about. Yeah, one of them is, um, Fields of Lupin, yep. I think. Fields of something. Um, but both of those show so much promise because they look like they have all of the things I love gameplay-wise about other farming games with all of the things I love stylistically about other games. Where it's like, I feel like Harvest Moon has the style I want, but not the gameplay. And Stardew Valley has the gameplay I want, but not the not the, the design that I want. Yeah, Stardew Valley's gameplay is like unbeatable. Unmatched. But I'm not attracted to any of the characters. Yeah, you're like, like me marrying anyone is like, well, I have to marry someone, and I love Sebastian, but that's about it. You're just like, what am I doing if I'm not marrying Sebastian? I, I, every time I play, I'm like, I could marry someone else. Why? But I love Sebastian. <laughs> like, yeah. So why would I marry anyone other than Sebastian? He's the love of my life. Because <laughs> he's you. Yeah, and I'm. You're exactly in love with Haley because I'm Haley. I was gonna say Sam. I love Sam. I love Sam, Sam more than I Sam love Sam and Haley are both me. Yeah, let's I, be real. You always have to have two gender characters. That's just true, and that's just your. Gender. That's me. I'm just two people at the same time. Uh, not schizophrenic. Not that there's a problem with that. I just am not, and I'm not gonna claim it. <laughs> Without personality disorder. Yes, just two people, not personality disorder. <laughs> just two genders. Two They're genders. Embodied by two different people. I was telling, because I was at the beach today. Yes. And I was like, I just really feel like I internally am like a gay theater boy, but I'm not, and I know I'm not, and I don't want to like pretend to have this experience that I don't. You know what I mean? Because it is a different experience that I never had. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely... I was raised a theater girl. Like, so I didn't have the gay theater boy experience. But I do feel like... You had, like, an interesting... Like, a, not exactly the same as, like, a stereotypical theater girl experience. And I don't feel like a lesbian. At all. At all. Like, it's just not something I relate to. I don't relate to that experience. Yeah. But, like, you, you had an atypical experience, and I think it's, like, a lot because of the fact that you have a different body type, so you were always, like, vying for mm. um, something that you couldn't have, and I think that's a very, like, that's a very clear experience. Mm. There's a lot to be unpacked with that, I think. And I think it's not, I don't know. I think I'm attracted to queer people, but it's not like, I, it's not about their sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I, I like people who are queer. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, what are we doing? 
What are we doing? I see, I see you. And I just want to dance with you. Yeah, like for real? I probably could drop down back in there. No, I was looking at, so you shared your, um, your theater kit, your theater, um, early 20s photos today. And I very much was like, I wish you had more, like, mask roles. I played so many really hyper feminine roles. Yeah, they gave you a lot and, of, like, ingenues. Well, and you know what's really funny about that is that I really do feel like in so many cases that I felt like I was in drag. Yeah. Because it, it's not who I am. And you queered up those roles a lot. I really did. Oh, oh like, I mean, you, I mean, I never like explicitly said it to any director that I was working with, but I always told you when I got home, I'm like, this character's bi, or this character is asexual, or this character feels this certain way about their gender, but they're just, they don't know how to contextualize it because it's the past. It's like they're in the colonizing times or they're in World War One or whatever. Yeah. You were in drag if you felt like you were. Thank you, Kenty. But it's like, I, as much as I appreciate you saying that, and I feel like there are many people who would agree, I there's also many people who I feel like would be like, yeah, but you're a girl, and you were playing a girl, so. You might be playing a girl that's like, not you, but, um, it's tricky. It's part of the reason why theater is really hard for me because it, it it's very gendered. Mm -hmm. But they're wrong. I agree. I agree. It's why I don't do theater so much anymore because it's it's so it's so gendered. Everything about it. Yeah. And like it's so much about how people see like you in the care like in like you trying to control how they see you, but they're never... And I, pl I played a lot of really sexual women yeah. in when I was doing theater, so I think that there were a lot of people who kind of, like, thought that was me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, boy, how do you... It could not be farther from the truth. I am... I'm playing something. Like, I'm being something right now. I am yeah. not... I'm not Ada Wanny. I'm not... Um, uh, Liesel uh, McTrap Liesel Von oh Trap Von, <laughs> Von Trap What did you say? McTrap I love that I am a trap No positive. I'm a I'm a trap Positive <laughs> I wish I could play dudes in theater, for sure. I relate to them more. <laughs> I wish I could be, I wish I could be like a, oh, what's his name? He does the, um, he was in, he was in the, the, the live adaptation of Grease and he played Danny Zuko. I'm gonna look him up. Something you to know, date. You know him? Personally, no. Like as an actor, I, I only know of him because of live action Grease. Live action Grease. Aaron Tveit. Yeah. Aaron Tveit. He, he, oh, he's big. I mean, I don't oh. know if he's big now, but he was big on the, on the Broadway scene. He was, he was Danny Zuko in, in the live adaptation of Grease. He was the, um, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm so alive. If you, you will watch me fly. He was in, um next to normal and he was also the lead in the catch me if you can musical oh, okay he he's the lead in a bunch of shit like he's got an amazing voice he's an amazing actor he's beautiful and i wish i was him like if every time i look at him i'm like let me inhabit your body <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god you screamed right in my ear i'm sorry I didn't want to scream in the mic. I feel your passion. Thank you. 
I wish there's a queer theater group that specifically threw gender of the actors out of the window. I would love to see Sammy. That's like my dream. Maybe I should make that happen. I don't know how I'd make it happen. I just don't know the logistics of it. Of making theater. But I, what I've always wanted is to do theater where it didn't matter. Like, it's about the talent. And it's about what you're able to portray. Mm -hmm. And, like, the kind of act, like, the kind of actor you are. And the kind of character that's being portrayed. And, like, the, like, it wouldn't be, like, oh, men over here and women over here. And, you know, like, it would just be, like, hey, low, vi low voices here, high voices here. What are you interested in auditioning for? Let's go with that, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah, fuck. Theater bothers me, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a it's a complicated relationship. Seattle would be the place. It's true. I don't know. I mean, like you would, you would, you would think, think that, right? But like, there is still so much of a traditional well, theater scene. Like, it is. It, but that, if there was a place, Seattle would be the place. Maybe. Anywhere else would be even more difficult than Seattle, and Seattle is tricky. Oh my god! Because they're really judgmental too. Like, even if they're like, "Oh, that's really cool," and progressive like they wouldn't really pay attention to how the show was done they would just pay attention to how progressive it was which is not not what I want I don't want to make something and have it be like how cool that it's so progressive it's like I just want to do it because I think it would be good and yeah. I think that it would it would give the vision in the same way but it feels like when you're trying to do something that's very, like, to other people, gender politics, it becomes distracting. And I just don't want that. I just, like, I, it... <sighs> yeah, and you don't want to make, you don't want it to be your mission I, to, like, create that art and, like, have that battle. I, d I don't want it to be my mission to have the battle. Yes. That, like, the battle. I want to create the space. Yeah. I just don't want to fight it. Yeah. I want it to just be the space. And be like, you know, it's not even about that. I'd rather you ask about, like, my interpretation of the show based on how I'm directing it as a person and not like, oh, this character is portrayed as trans because... It's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'm just trying. I just want to be the change I want to see. <laughs> I'd love to direct some really queer theater in Seattle, though. Maybe someday I will. Yeah, maybe. I got, maybe I just got a character development a little bit more. Maybe someday you will be like, hey, actually, I do want to fight that fight. Because actually, I wish that um, some, like, when I was the age of the people that are doing this thing now, like, I wish that someone else had fought this fight, and I'll do that for them now. And now I'm ready to do that. I could see myself being there. I think right now it's like, I feel like if I was fighting that fight, it'd be like, so I could play the roles, and that feels very selfish. Yeah. And I oh don't want God. anyone accusing me of being selfish, because that's my worst fear. But, like, I don't know, like, art selfish. That, um, who did we hear that from? Recently? I think we heard that from Blizzbear. Did we? We heard it from someone, like, that. I think art, we heard it from a streamer. Art is selfish until... When, when, when you make it, and selfless when you... When you when you put it out there. Yeah. It's selfish while you're making it and it's selfless when you share it. And that really affected me and it affected me and we only heard it like two days ago. And I was like... Yeah, I actually like don't huh. fully remember what the context was of us hearing was that. It, but I was like... I thought it was... It wasn't... It wasn't Cat Black, was it? No. 
No, 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 no. It wasn't her. Self full. Ooh. Self full. That's a good redirection. I just feel like. I think to say someone is only caring about themselves when they're creating something isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because, like, you need to take care of yourself and create things that are very full of yourself. Like, self-full is actually... I I don't oppose, like, that redirection. Look at him go. I love him when he does this. Because, like, you create art that's about you to connect with other people who are feeling similar things. And, like, you can't connect with people in that way if you're not sharing those things about you. And they might be, like, masked as other things or, like, masked as, oh, but I just want to, like, do this thing that'll help other people. It's still doing some kind of fulfillment for you, and that's yeah. not a bad thing. It's not... Sometimes that, sometimes that's really hard for me to grasp. Because it's, like, I, I tend to think that the things I want to make are not things anybody wants to see. And so it's like, I just end up wanting to make it for myself and not share it because I'd rather keep it to myself and have it be personal than share it with people and, and be rejected. Yeah. Because being rejected is like, it's like literally my worst fear. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and it shouldn't be. I wish it wasn't. And I want to get past that, but it's not something I've been able to get past yet. It's tough. Streaming's been a good step. I've been taking space. You've been, you've, we've been doing stuff. We've been working on those little baby steps and streaming is definitely like... I've been drawing. A step, because like, it, it's a kind of performance. It's definitely putting yourself out there in a... Uh, it's hard because it's like I don't want to draw something that's like, well, none of the people that I like that like know me know about this thing that I really like, same. you know. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't want to just post this art that people are gonna be like, I don't get it, but cool, you know. Like I, I don't, I think I don't want to be rejected, and I also don't want to be placated. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think often, oftentimes I take praise as placation i Do definitely you ever get that? i 100 percent most of the time when someone's like oh i like this i'm like you're just saying that because you want me to feel good yeah you're just saying that because you're my friend and you want me to feel good about the thing that i make which isn't fair it's like, not fair it's just it's, not fair because it, it's and I, I when you do that i feel not angry at you but like sad because i'm like oh but that's not how they feel I know for a fact that when people see your art, they're happy to see it and it's genuine because that's how I feel. And I know, like, Oliver, your friends love you a whole heck of a lot. It's a lot. You're the glue for a lot of our, of our little friend group that we've got going. Like, we would not be friends if not for you in a major way. Not in a like, oh, well, maybe we'd... No, it's like... You're the glue. A hundred, a hundred thousand percent. Um, it's true. It's just true. And um, so when when you feel that that way, that I do often feel myself, I'm like, oh, but that's not right. Because everything that Oliver creates is golden to everybody. And, and like... Oliver is great and everybody appreciates everything that they contribute and all of the ideas that they have. Uh, yeah, all uh, made our Discord, gathered us, created our groups and all of our projects. We, fo we follow Oliver. Oliver is a star, our North Star. <laughs> we are all the wise man Thank following you. you to the baby Thank Jesus. You. Thank you. Even though you're Jewish. Thank you. Um, and, but knowing that about you and like knowing that you feel differently than I see you, you know, like I see you as such a like cornerstone for people. And when you're like, oh, well, I don't really feel like I'm a cornerstone. I don't really feel like people like what I make. I don't really feel like I'm connected to people or that I feel like I'm annoying. That makes me go like, oh, 
Shit. Is that... Is... Am... Am I as delusional as Oliver is right now? Because it is, like... And I don't want to, like, you know, be like, you're delusional, but, like... No, I think it's a delusional thing that I have. Like, when I'm in my better states of mind, I can really, like, see that. But when I'm in my worst states of mind, I really can't see that. Yeah. It's hard. Like, and I... I I have some pretty severe depression in my worst states... I, I wonder what it is, though, because, bad. like, every person I know who is, like, truly exceptional and talented is, like, I, I don't like anything that I make, and nobody likes anything I make, and, like, I, like, and I know, like, I'm, I'm very privileged to know some exceptionally talented people, like, you and I both, and you included, for me. Like I think you're very talented. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it is why I work on lifting you up as much as I Thank do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but I, I <laughs> both of us compliment each other, and then like, okay, stop complimenting Shut me. Shut up. Yeah, Thank stop you. Complimenting I'm me. complimenting you it. right now. It. Shut up. Um, no, but, like I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... It, it's um it's weird it's weird that we're all that way like we're all like no don't compliment me but we also like crave that but we don't know what to do with it when we have it yeah because it's because we don't feel that we've earned it but there's no way to feel that we've earned it yeah and then it's he- not about earning it it's just about doing it yeah um, and I think oh, I, because I also feel this way. I feel like I don't have a particular style, but every person who I know who is a really talented artist also feels that way. They also are like, I don't have a particular style, and I, I'm always like, if if I had your art up against a line of other people's art, I would be able to point out your art. I would be able to point out your art. I would be able to point out Jerba's art. I would be able to point out Kenty's art. I would be able to point out Vashbar's art, Cute Flesh's art. I would know. I would know. We yeah. could all draw the same thing. I would know who drew which. Yeah. But I, but I understand when people say like, oh, I don't think I have a very distinct dis- distinct style. Because I feel that way about my own art. And I'm sure that if when you look at my art, you're like, no, I know what Sammy's art looks like. I know what your art looks like. I love your art style. Ouch! Sorry. <laughs> my arm <laughs> cracked while I did that. Yeah. If it makes you feel better. It makes me feel very intense. <laughs> Will it work? Ow! 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 All right, here we go. I always wish I had a style, and I don't think I have one. And then Oliver routinely rolls in and is like, "Wow, look at your distinct style, Kenty." Um, and truly, of all of our friends, I think you have the most distinct style. I like. Like. I think you, that you are. Have, I can see your curated taste in so much of what you create and how much it has changed and grown with the specific ways that I you will have not made stop your stuff I'll if everyone wants detailed compliments of their work I will this is what the room gladly is for. give them always yeah like, Kenti has such a cute it's like very kawaii but very soft and subdued it's vi- and it's not only not only is it like oh that's very curated it's also very like it's it's Kenti's personality like your personality, Kenty shines through in such a very distinct way in your art. You're very—it's very subdued. It's very into intellectual, mm-hmm. but it's very adorable and playful at the same time, which are all things I would use to describe you, Jane Austen, but cute. That's Aww. right. Like you have a—you do have a design sensibility. Like you as a designer, like you like things a very specific way, and I can see all of it. I can see. How I'm sorry to also like just love bomb hey, you. Hey, we love we love bombed each other. It's time to bring it out. <laughs> You're next, Jerm. <laughs> but like, no, I I love our mods. But um, like I we Kent should have a shirt a that very... says we love our mods. Yeah. Yeah. We should commission that from Madeline. Oh my god. Yes. No, but like. But um, 
very clean. You, you, de I can see everything that you grab from the vintage things, the Victorian things, hand -drawn. fashion, um, hand drawn thing. Like, um, also like Sanrio stuff. Like, I can see all of the things and how I, they come I, together. I think of tea time. I think of, I, I think of, um, like it's definitely kawaii culture mixed with elegance, tea time. Um, like old fashioned meets like new kawaii and it's like it's so good it's so you it's so you yeah every time i see kenty's work i i'm very like that's kenty yeah for sure for sure oh my gosh you brought my my darlings my darlings, my darlings. me with our mods yeah. oh thank you my darlings are safe for last enough and happy to be home. As a token of my heartfelt appreciation, let me introduce you to my special attraction. <laughs> How's what is it? Offers? What is it though? What is it though? Okay, so here's my. You get a new picture? Here's my gallery. Here's my pictures I unlocked. <gasps> is that a new one? No. no. Is that a new one? Let's is that the new one? No, that's not new. Oh. No, this is new. This is new. This oh. is new. But it's not what I unlocked. Oh. Well, what would you unlock? It's not these. Are we going to compliment Jerba? We are going to compliment Jerba. I have watched Jerba grow as an artist for Chamber of Fun. Okay, we'll get back. We'll get to that. Let's let's end stream with Chamber of Fun, but I'm going to compliment Jerba first. I've watched Jerba grow as an artist since like baby. Since baby baby high school ages and like from their first little like very moomin inspired doodles like moomin and pokemon to like like this really like whimsical sort of flowy thing to a more polished and like dynamic action filled and sort of style but it still holds that same energy and that's still like that fun and that like that story and that attention to movement that that you've like always had have had and like yeah. the way that you can tell a story through so many like tiny aspects of movement is so distinct. Jerba's attention to detail is unmatched. And yeah. like I you cuz before I was friends with Jerba in any way, I I I knew about Jerba through you when we started dating and you would show me um their art and I would be like, this was done by someone younger than we are? That's unbelievable. You know, like, it was, uh, like, the your art when you were younger, like, way younger, like, 10 years younger, it was so good then that it could have been in, like, it, it could have been an illustration in a children's book, like, easily, easily. That it was, like, from the moment I saw your work, I was like, this person is destined for greatness. I think that a reason why we have hard times, uh, a hard time with um, compliments is because we see the people that we spend time with as so talented that we're like, but I'm not as talented as you. Oh, I for sure do. I for sure do. Like people, people who aren't like drawing artists will be like, Sammy, wow, you're so good. And I'll be like, oh, you know, I grew up around artists and I'm I'm nowhere near their level, and I just I just kind of copy what I see they do, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it. I, oh my God, the when you did that calendar collaboration when you were back at the art institute with Jerba, that was intense. And I remember that was the, my first oh my time God. really getting to see Jerba's work. Also, Jerba, I don't think I have ever like appropriately um, thanked you for that collaboration. This is such an amazing collaboration. I wish we still had, I wish we had that calendar. Or maybe you guys should remake it sometime. Maybe we'll remake it sometime, I don't know. I don't know. It was very much a moment where I was like, I wanna highlight my- Kenty, you became, you became friends with Oliver because of Jerba scandal. Yeah, I, because we sat next to each other and I like had, um, her art, like, in front of me, and Kent was like, what? 
is that? <laughs> Holy shit. So, Kenti, Kenti and Oliver would not be friends if, if not for Jerba. I kind of believe And that. I wouldn't be friends with Kenti if not for Oliver, which means not for Jerba. Um, and I wouldn't be friends with Jerba if it weren't for DeviantArt. Discover page. The Discover page? Wow, random. What I did on DeviantArt a lot of the time was go through the Discover page, like the most recently added stuff, and I would just like... Um, okay, I need to restart. And that was before algorithms, baby. That yeah. was random. I just went to like the most recent stuff and like would see what stuff I liked. Oh, oh excuse me. Dinner time! Um, but I did that because I wanted to see people that, I wanted to see um, not the most popular artists that were like getting the most views or anything. I wanted to see stuff that like I wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Um, and people that were like more on my skill level because I knew that the people that were getting the most views weren't the same skill level as I was and I really like craved community and I craved um, being able to just like talk with people about art because I didn't have that in my day-to-day -day life. Um, and I um, I remember like going and just like complimenting people, like leaving comments, being, I really like how you did this thing. And I feel like a lot of people see like that kind of engagement as like inappropriate now. And I don't know how other people feel about that and like how how they would feel if someone came into their art piece and was like, oh, I really like the way that you did this thing. It's really cool that you did this with the composition. Cause like, I don't know, I, I like hearing about people seeing those kinds of things, but I know that not everybody else does. Or like, I guess not a lot of other people like that, but. Like, I sought out what I craved, and I feel like I have always done that with internet communities, and it's kind of a reason why they feel really empowering to me. Well, and I must say, that's, I don't know if you recognize this about you, but that's a really admirable trait, that you seek out community in those internet spaces, because I think a lot of people in internet spaces are not, are not seeking out they're seeking out community, but they're seeking it out by just like putting it out there instead of reaching reaching out to other people and commenting and being 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 a viewer, you know? Yeah. And I think that that's hard for some people. It's certainly hard for me. I I definitely feel like it's so much energy just to put something out there that it's hard to put that energy back out. You know what I mean? Like to be able to like comment on someone's work. Yeah. And I definitely have tried in the past and, and I have done it, but it's, it's hard. It's a lot of energy. And it and feels it's like, like it's, it feels like it's Unappreciated energy. Yeah, it feels annoying. And it annoying. feels unappreciated. And um, especially nowadays, I feel like it's exceptionally hard to comment on someone's work and feel like you're really being seen, even though you definitely are. And I mean, people want people to comment on their stuff for the algorithm, yeah. like, specifically. And so a lot of, like, when I, for our friends that, like, post more work, and, like, when you were posting more work, I was doing this, too. Um, I definitely... I did see you commenting. I always, like, make sure to comment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, just because, like, I don't know, it feels good to com comment on your work. Yeah, it, it is hard because on Instagram, people don't reply. Yeah. Which is, it's valid because especially if you're a really popular artist, you're not going to reply to every single comment you get. Yeah. However, it's like on DeviantArt, I felt compelled. I commented a lot when we, in the DeviantArt days because I wanted to make friends. And I wanted to make friends with artists whose art I appreciated and respected and liked and like people who were into the same things that I was into. And I wanted to do like art trades. Um, yeah. So I would, I would leave comments 
And and there was a lot of like, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's what I was going for back on DeviantArt. It would be like, I like this. Thank you for talking about that. I really wanted that to be shown through, so I'm glad you saw it, you know? Um, but I just feel like that doesn't really happen. It kind of happens on Instagram, but it's it's less genuine. It feels like, I mean, I, I kind of didn't really get this as a thing for Instagram until it was like, I saw someone talk about it as like a con for um, a merging art posting website for artists by artists artful. Yeah. Um, it's a con? They, someone was like, I don't, I, well, I'm about to say it. Um, someone was like, well, I don't know if it's worth posting on Artful because I can't reach customers there. And I can't reach I don't know. It's like, there. I get it. I do understand. But it's like, it's such a capitalist mindset that I really wish we didn't have to fall into. Yeah, because like, I mean. It... I want to reach out to other artists, personally. Mm -hmm. And you can reach out to customers in other avenues. But like, then it's really exhausting to have to like post, multi like cross post on multiple things. And a but lot then of people you're... really don't want to do that. Yeah, I get that. But it's. Then it's really hard to find like collaborators. Yeah, or and like friends. And like, friends. I want to post my self indulgent. I just want to make friends. Yeah. That's all I want. I just want to be a child forever. <laughs> the art space has changed. It used to be just about enjoying being social, not about branding yourself and getting numbers. Totally. I and I really I it, part of the reason I, I part of the reason not only that I stopped going to theater school and I really am not involved in social media a lot is because it feels like a branding game and I just am not interested in branding. I don't I don't I don't want to commercialize myself. It's not something I care about. Yeah. Also, yeah, Jerba, I I feel that same thing. Like, you're on Instagram for your peers, your employees, and, like, your family. And, like, that's that's so many different people. Like, I'm, I'm really taking the opportunity with Artful to be, and kind of Twitter, too, to be like, hey, I like fandoms, and here's my here's I the really, things about fandoms that I want to I, post about. I want a space where I can comfortably feel like I can participate in fandom. Yeah. And I feel... It's weird because I see people on Twitter and, and DeviantArt, or not DeviantArt, on Twitter and Instagram being like, I'm in fandom, but it feels like, I don't know, it feels separate. Yeah. It feels like it's that, that's their own thing. And, and, and to a degree that feels like kind of like a form of drag on the internet. Like it's like, this is the only thing I talk about. And I, I don't know. I think some people are just hyper fixated on something. Oh, I, and I get hyper fixated. I'm trying, but I'm trying to let myself post more like fan to me stuff. But like, I'm leaving Instagram as a space for like polished, whatever, mm. like portfolio wise. And I really want artful to kind of be a uh, like. I want to just I, like. I feel very hopeful about artful because I really do just want a space to be myself. And I don't want to have to curate who myself is. I want it yeah. to be me in all of the different ways that I am me. Yeah. For sure. I don't know, it's tough. It is and tough. I, but I, I don't disagree with the idea that you should be able to brand your art and you should be able to brand yourself and have that out there and have it accessible to potential employers. And everything. It's just that I wish that I wish that those places were more solidified. I feel like it's very nebulous. It's very like, well, you you can be this on on Instagram if you want, and you can be that on Twitter if you want, and then you know there's other avenues for you to do other things. It's like I wish that I just like knew specifically where I was supposed to be, which person. If, if that was how it was. Or if there was one place where I could just be me and I didn't have to, like, categorize myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like I, I don't, I don't... Well, it's like, it's because it of the monopolization me... of social media stuff and how there's only, like, a few companies that are really controlling all of it and take so much, like, um, 
it takes a lot of money to run a, a website and like have that much data on a website. Twitch is the only place I feel like I can really 100% be myself. And and even then that comes with caveats. Yeah. Um, but we're, I, sh- we're still trying to like- we, we, I mean, but it's you and me. It's not just me and it's not just you. And we have a brand that we use together. Yeah. But we're different people. We're separate people. Like, you know, we don't have pre con- We don't have like a misguided notion that we are like an entwined being and that we're like, we, we have in the past been very, um, what's it called? What's the word? Um, codependent? Yes. We've been, I think in the past we've been super codependent and I think we do have tendencies even now of codependency, but we're, we do have our individuality. Yeah. But I just think we don't have a safe avenue to express our own individuality. At least I don't feel that way. And I mean, I think that's. I feel safer expressing my individuality next to you than I do by myself. Well, that's like a that's a reason why we're streamed together. Yeah. Is cuz like we feel safe kind of like being able to riff off of each other and use each other's energy and also we live in such a small space. We miss each other when one of us is doing something else. It would be if, weird if one of us was like 3 days a week someone was like, like <laughs> bye. I'm going to be in just the other room doing this other thing. I mean, we'd make it work, but yeah, we would miss each other. I was at the beach today, and I was like, I miss Oliver. We're just listening to music now, because I want to talk to you, but also... I don't I'm having wanna, like, a fun time doing this podcasty. I like that Twitch is very <laughs> ephemeral. Like, we don't... We, we have VODs, and we record every single one of our, um, our streams, but we don't, like have them posted right now and i kind of like that right now i like that this, there's this we're still nature. figuring out our energy together and like i i feel like everything we do is like a stepping stone towards what we're going to do someday even though we don't know what that is yeah but it and we're trying to build a brand. We're trying to build an audience. We're trying to build a community. It can be exhausting, though. And it's Because it's like, I just want to be me sometimes. Yeah, but, like, I, I want us to be able to be genuine. And if yeah. that comes at the cost of, like, our community and audience and whatever doesn't grow as quickly, doesn't see, like, as rapid growth as other communities and audiences do, or, ch- like, channels do. Yeah. Like... I think that's okay and I really need to just like there's part of me that feels really impatient with that because I'm like I'm not getting any younger and people that are younger than me are like doing this so much faster and so much more successfully than me and that makes me insecure sometimes totally But like that also doesn't fucking matter because I'm doing this at my pace and there's a lot of people older than us there are there are who, who get success at later times or uh, you know, and success... Success is different for everyone. It's so... What is it? What is it, really? What is it? <laughs> What's the deal with success? But, like... Even if you have it, you're still depressed. That's true. That's what I always think about. I'm like, well, it's not going to cure my depression now, is it? <laughs> I, no. But... There's that desire for community and that desire to create. Yeah. And I think, so, I'm all about being on the internet in order to, like, form community and talking. If I'm not able to, like, have community on the internet, I'm like, what's the fucking point of being here? Yeah. Like, what, so people can just look at me? Being isolated on the internet is so, it's more lonely than feeling isolated in real life. And I do miss those deviant art days. However, what I wanted to get to with all of what I was just saying was we're doing this together uh, because there was a point where you didn't want to do anything on the internet, no. but you did want to do something. It was just scary. So it's good to be able to like hold each other's hands and be like, hey, we're doing this together. It's okay. I, I thought I wanted to stream alone and then I was really grateful that you said you wanted to do it with me. 
Um, and I, I, I don't like. I don't know if you know that. Like, but I. I think you thought on some level that you were forcing that on me because you were like, well, I don't want to be alone, so I'll just stream with you. But for me, I was like, oh, thank God, someone to play off, off of, you know? And, and Oliver and I have really great conversations and we have really good chemistry and, and that's going to be really fun. And, and Oliver will help me feel calm and feel like I have something to play off of while we're doing stuff together and, and we'll play things that we both like. And it's a good way for us to spend time together and play games together and for people who love Oliver to see Oliver and me. Yeah, see both of us. Yes. For sure. So. Yeah. Yeah, lots of thoughts, lots of lots. I lots think... of lots and lots of thoughts. How are you feeling? Um... I would like to rest. I, I think have so. been out since 8 a.m. to this morning. Yes. And I've been socializing and I feel like I've done a very good job. You have. But I would like to I would like to lounge about with my uh Aww. I'd like to rock out with my cock out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Stop. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the court. We looked up bugles. bugles. We looked we tried to figure out what bugles were. I forgot about that. And then I opened our internet window. Golden girls. Uh, I don't want to rate anyone. I feel like I don't have Well, then we won't. To, so we're not going to. But we love you guys. And we'll see you on Monday for more for birth Kingdom by Hearts. sleep. And I won't I will not fall asleep during birth by sleep next time. Okay, let's raid Kenti at his house. Here we come. We have already raided your heart. Well, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad. Um, and next time we'll go to the mountains of Mira Mira. Let me just, like, I want to see how much is left here. There's, like, I kind of think that we might get to the end. Oh, thank you. Thank you for complimenting our hair. I think we'll get to the end of Klonoa 2 next week. I don't want to promise anything, but it kind of like feels like that. You you think what? I think we'll get to the end of the game next week. I kind of want to look that up real quick. I think, I bet you it'll be week after next. <laughs> shit. Stop it. Everybody shut up. Sorry. They laughed because they knew I was right. They were like, aw, Oliver doesn't know Aww. that it's going to take two weeks. Oliver doesn't know it's going to take two more years. No, what, two weeks? I, like this pic. I love this. This is my... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So It'll we just take a while. Did, we just did Ishra's arc. There's so we're one, halfway two, three, through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more, more chapters. Things. So, yeah, probably two more weeks of Two at here. least, at least. I would say two, maybe three. Hi, Kaylian! It's me, like Not boo, just applause. It is the end of the stream. We love you, but we are going to go good night now. We are going to go to bed. No. No, we're not going to go to bed. Oh no, you just got back. I'm so you sorry. You didn't miss. You didn't miss much. We, we were, were just, just talking, talking about, about art. art and appreciation and how. Art on the internet used to be different, and online communities used to be different before the algorithm. And now, um, now we're gonna. You missed art appreciation. Oh. You did. Kaylee, you got really good art. We should say. Can we go back to deviant art? You should go on artful for I real, Kaylee. Yeah, go on artful because we'll be on artful if you are. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm already going to be. Meet me I there. Definitely, I'm there on the app. I'll be there later on the website when it's there. Yeah. Slay. Okay. Good night, right. everyone. Good night. We'll see you on Monday. Kingdom Hearts. Birth by sleep. Birth by sleep, Tara. Tara. I've been grinding a little bit. You won't even know what hit him.
We missed you too. I hope to see you there. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye.